How the rich spend their money? Do you want to know? Do you want to know the secrets? This came in CNN, CNBC. I'm just going to share the most important five points because this is what all the millionaires do. This is what all the billionaires do. This is what I came in all the articles, all the books, whichever I read about how to become a millionaire, how to attract more money, whatever it is. Okay. So this is something interesting you're going to learn. Hi, hello, this is Ganesh Anthuru, your stock market profit coach. I help in multiplying your money by investing in stock market. And this is my book, One Page Stock Market Plan. So today's topic is all about how to, how the rich spend their money and how you can also start practicing. You know the differentiating factor once you know these points, because we have in the mind that rich will be spending like this, rich will be saving like this, rich will be doing like this. But how are you doing? So do you want to be rich? Do you want to be wealthy enough? Do you want to be filthy rich? It's like so much wealthy, right, in your life. So please click the subscribe button. I'll be sending out lots of videos like this. So the first point is they don't overspend. They know how much they are earning. They know how much they need to spend and they never overspend. They know the credit card limit if it is uh, there and they know how much they need to, how much they can repay after a month so that they will spend within that limit. But sometimes we always go overboard. Whenever we are traveling, we'll go overboard and spend a lot. During festivals, we'll spend a lot. And after that, after uh, spending, after the credit card bill comes over, the next 30 days we'll be thinking how to repay this car, how to repay this money, all these things, right? So they never ever overspend. The first thing you should keep in mind. The second most important point is that related to credit card. They utilize credit card reward points. We always think that uh, uh, I can uh, manage, I can manage the money and I don't need uh, extra money. I don't use these rewards. Uh, they we will feel ashamed of going towards the reward points and asking whether should I go for it or all these things. Or all these things. But when it comes to rich people, they always utilize, they will uh, plan such that uh, if you spend 10,000 rupees, they will be giving an extra reward points. If you spend 1 lakh rupees in a year, they'll be giving extra reward points or they'll be giving offers. They'll be opting for those offers and make sure they are utilizing all these things, right? So we think uh, once you're rich, you won't mind about the money, but they mind a lot about money, where to spend. If you are, if you need to uh, uh, put your petrol only in Indian oil uh, petrol bunk so that you are getting extra reward cards, uh, reward points, they'll do that alone. They won't go for uh, other HP or uh, other petrol bunks, right? So all these things they will manage. Uh, they will uh, bring it down, bring it down so that uh, they are earning more reward points. And it's not only credit card rewards; any rewards they will utilize it. The third point is they pay themselves first. When it comes to investment, when it comes to allocating savings, they know they need to allocate for themselves first so that that money is there, that money is there to grow. What we do, most of the people like you and me, even including me, if I, at times, I'll pay the credit card bills at first so that uh, I'll pay the EMIs, I'll pay all those things first and whatever left, uh, left I use to allocate for savings. But that habit needs to change. That is when you will start becoming rich. So paying yourself first doesn't need, need to be savings alone. It can be investing for your growth, investing for your personal productivity, or even if you're buying a book, it, it means you are paying yourself first. All these things, if you're able to do, it means you are also on, on the lead to become rich. And uh, the fourth point is they keep an emergency fund first. The most critical, I tell all my clients to do this. So if you have emergency fund, it means that uh, your savings is taken care of, your investment is taken care of. Because once your savings is taken care of with the emergency fund, whatever emergency situation comes, you will you will go for this emergency fund. Then only you will go for investments or whatever, right? So if that happens automatically, it means even if any emergency situation comes, your automatic saving investments will go on like that. Take the example of SIP, systematic investment planning. But if you are not having this emergency fund, the first thing you'll do is break the investments out of mutual fund repay whatever you want to do take the money out of emergency i've seen people they will be uh, making the pay investments for four years together and they'll take that amount thinking that uh, let the sip continue i want this money immediately because they, there is an emergency situation in their business this is the biggest mistake anybody does in their business okay this is something and the final point is they use loans strategically which means uh, the best example is as an employee or as a business owner in India, we always take the loan to buy a, a home property thinking that that is an investment. That's a liability. How? Because you are taking a loan and within 5-7 years you are repaying the loan thinking that instead of paying the uh, rentals, I let me pay, pay the EMI and own my property. But the point is you are not going to earn anything out of your home and whatever you are paying the EMI, the first 5-6 years is going to be 
interest alone and at that time you are repaying it heavily and by 7th 8th or maximum 10th year you are closing it down everything that is the time the interest level will come down you the principal will increase and this is a timeline uh, you can utilize your interest payment for showing for uh, taxation purpose under section 24 home loan interest can be shown and principal can be shown under section 80c if you're not even considering all these points just think of what will happen to your uh, uh, savings you're not considering your money part you're not considering for investments part you're just blindly doing whatever you know and you're not even uh, consider, uh, uh, consulting with an expert in this domain maybe your auditor maybe your uh, an investment advisor financial advisor reach out to them and ask which is the wise thing to do uh, instead of repaying buying everything buying a loan for 30 40 lakhs and repaying for the next 10 years which is the most golden period in your life because you can invest wisely you can plan for your investments and you can live your life happily but what you are doing you are repaying the loans immediately year after year more uh, and you're not enjoying because thinking that my loan is huge but the rich people they plan such a way that they know they have a loan they know they have a plan they have a backup they will repay uh, they will start an sip for that and after 10 years they know whatever they repaid they are accumulated by the way of investing in sip that is another model which you can consider before uh, closing down the home loan so let me summarize again what the rich do they don't overspend they utilize the credit card reward points wisely they pay themselves first they keep an emergency fund first and finally they use the loan strategically so they use the loan strategically so that it's not getting wasted so if you are able to follow these top five points provided in by cnbc you will also become a on the on the road to richness so share with me what is that one thing you are going to uh, implement in the comment section so that uh, if possible if you need any help you can uh, here ask me thank you so much if you would like this video please share this video with your friends let them also uh, become rich along with you know right so that you can enjoy your life together thank you